In this video, we're going to talk about how to change the default color and style themes of a Quarto website. Quarto provides over 20 themes out of the box. The themes actually come from bootswatch.com, which provides free themes for the Bootstrap web development framework, which is used to create websites and apps. Some of my favorite themes that are provided out of the box include Journal, Lux, Quartz, Simplex, and Space Lab. A complete list of the themes currently available for Quarto websites is available at quarto.org by following this link. If we go to that link, we can see a list of the available themes here. If we open one of the links and navigate to the page, we can get a taste for what the theme might look like if applied to our website. To get a taste of what it's like to customize our website, we're going to change the theme of our Quarto website to Sandstone. To update the theme of a Quarto website, navigate to the underscore Quarto.yml file and change the theme option to one of the options available for Quarto websites. Jumping over to our studio, we already have the underscore Quarto.yml file open and I find the theme option in that file and I'm going to change it to Sandstone. I then save the YML file and now I'll navigate back to index.qmd and render the updated website. Looking at our website rendered with the Sandstone theme, we can see that the colors and fonts are quite a bit different. Instead of having a blue background up here, it's now a very dark gray or black color. The color of the web links has changed from blue to green. The font used for our website has also changed. We can customize these further by specifying some additional options in our underscore quarto.yml file. Let's talk in more detail about how to change the font sizes and website colors associated with your Quarto website. Font sizes can be specified in either absolute units or relative units. Absolute units are probably the units that you're most familiar with. These include units like the point, which is common in word processing documents, centimeters, millimeters, inches, etc. It's not recommended that you use these units when specifying your font sizes because they don't scale very well with your document. Relative units like EM or REM are going to be better. One EM is equivalent to the default font size for the body text of your document. So if you change the font size of a header to be 3 EM, then the header would be three times as big as the body font of your document. REM stands for root EM, which is the font size of the root element of your document, which is something that's supposed to be consistent throughout the document, which is the newer and more consistent relative unit that you should probably use to specify font sizes in your document. To change a color in your Quarto website, you have to specify the color in hexadecimal format. Hexadecimal format is really just a way of representing colors using a system of six numbers or letters. If you're like me, you probably don't know the hexadecimal format associated with the color that you want to use on your website. So you can use a tool like htmlcolorcodes.com. If we navigate to that site, we can see that we can choose many different colors for our website. And once we decide on a color, we can see the hexadecimal format here and paste it into the appropriate section of our Quarto website so that the color is changed to the color that we want. When you specify a color using a hexadecimal value, you probably need to add quotes around the value in order to get Quarto to render the color properly. We're now going to customize the main font of our website, change the standard font size and color, change the color of our hyperlinks, and also change the default font used for computer code on our website. To do that, we specify some options in the appropriate section of our underscore Quarto.yml file. So we're going to change the main font, font size, font color, link color, and computer code font by adding these lines to the appropriate section of underscore Quarto.yml. So I hop over to the underscore Quarto.yml file in our studio, and then I paste the code I showed just a few moments ago. 
After making sure that everything is lined up, I save the file, and then I navigate back to index.qmd and hit the render button. Our updated website is now rendered, and we can see that the header bar here has a different color, the fonts appear to be different. We can now see that the color of our font changed from the standard black to blue. We change the color of our links from green to purple, and the font used for our computer code is now a bit different. And if we navigate to our favorites page, we can see that the colors used to highlight the different sections of our document has also changed. There are many aspects of your website that you can change by specifying the appropriate option, and I encourage you to go to the Quarto.org website to learn more about what you can do to change the theme of your website.